Hello people, and today I'm doing my first requested tutorial, and that tutorial is based on this one clip uh, that he sent me. He was wondering how to make this uh, effect where the cubes are moving and kind of rainbow colors in the background are rotating. Uh, let me show you in a sample. So he was wondering how to do this effect, so uh, let's get started. Let's import these two files that I've made in Adobe Illustrator. So, double click on the project panel, import to those two guys. Now by themselves, the cube pattern is basically a 1080p image. And it just uh, has cubes in it. The sun rays is this guy right here. These images are vectors, so you can scale them up and don't uh, lose the quality. So now let's create a new composition. Let's make it 1080p, but let's increase the width by multiplying it by 1.5 and the height by 1.5. So let's import our two uh, files over here. Now th those are pretty small, but we can scale them up. So first let's scale up this uh, sun rays image. So click S to bring down the scale option, scale that up. Now you see that the uh, image quality has been degraded. So what you need to do is click this uh, sun icon which basically says continuously rasterize the image. And uh, you can see that the quality is good. I'm gonna move the sun rays center to the side, scale it up again to fill the image. Now let's enable our cube pattern and scale that up. Here we go. I think the cubes are a little bit too small, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply that by 2. Oops, this is divide. Mul multiply by 2, and here we got the same cubes but double the size. Probably ain't gonna see this but the cube quality has been degraded by the scaling so let's click continuously rasterize to uh, get that quality back. Now all that's left for us is to animate these layers. So first let's animate the sun rays effect. Press R on your keyboard to reveal the rotation property. Click the stopwatch, go to the uh, 10 seconds mark, and let's uh, set the uh, last keyframe value to one revolution. So over 10 seconds is going to rotate one time fully. Okay, let's RAM preview that really quick. Now let's animate the cube pattern. Make sure you have your cube pattern uh, selected. Press P to reveal the position setting. Click the stopwatch, and go to the last frame and animate it like so. Good. Now we have the this animation. Looks pretty good. Now that we've got our main animation ready, let's import some stock footage. I have this footage of liquid being poured over a white surface and I think this clip will be pretty good for our example. Let's drag that video into the new composition button. This will make a new composition based on the video settings. Okay, Let's import our composition that has our animation. Our composition is a little bit too big, but we can fix that by going by right clicking, going to transform and fit the comp. Okay, now what's left is to uh, reveal this composition onto our footage. So take your pen tool that is right here. Uh, let's set the beginning point to right here at the uh, center left and then make a kind of a triangle shape and I think this will be pretty good. Okay. 
Wait a minute. Yep. Now let's. Uh, I think we could scale it up a little bit and move it down and rotate it. Good. Now we need to reveal it. We can reveal it by using a simple linear wipe effect. So in the effects and presets panel type in the search box linear wipe and apply linear wipe effect from the transition tech category. Let's go to frame 20, click the stopwatch, click the stopwatch and uh, hmm, our transition isn't at isn't going at the right angle so let's set the wipe angle to minus 90 and you can see that now it's going the right direction so press U to reveal our keyframes for the layer you can see that we've set the keyframe of linear wide transition completion let's set that to 100 go forward 5 frames and let's set the transition completion to uh, fall zero now you can see that it makes the transition pretty well and uh, let's animate the text now so let's, uh, let's select our text tool type some text like unix designs I'm gonna use a uh, Tetillium Text 22 light font. Um, let's size it up a little bit and we need to rotate it. So, reveal the rotation for our text layer and for our composition and for our animated text layer. Let's rotate that pretty good. I'm gonna change the text color to a little bit black. Good. And now let's animate it. I'm gonna start animating the text five frames after the uh, stripes have been revealed. So let's move that down like so. Press P to reveal the position setting. Click the stopwatch, go five frames forward and move the text up. Now I want the uh, get get the effect that the text is behind our composition so let's put that behind it and and let's set the end point of the text layer right after the ribbons have done their wipe and here we go here's some text um, I'm gonna select the two text keyframes and press F9 to make these animation a little bit smoother I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, there will be more tutorials coming in the future, maybe there's some effect that you want to learn. You can ask for that in the comments, Zuni Designs, see you later.